It is my honor and pleasure to share the stage with Len McCluskey. Yeah. I think that says it all. Go on, Len. Thanks, James. Um, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. It's been a long day already. Fantastic to see so many people here, and I want to begin by thanking all of you for making the effort. You know, the media have been asking me on this march, why are we marching? Why? Well, we're marching for our future. We're marching for a Britain that we know we can have. A Britain of full employment. A Britain of social justice. A Britain where money is spent properly to care for our elderly and for our sick. And a Britain that gives hope to our young people. A Britain that leads to the alternative that we are fighting for, that alternative of jobs and growth, to make certain that we have an economy and a society that puts people before profits. But comrades, we're also marching against something. We're marching against this millionaire government who are deaf to the protests and to the suffering of their people but are all too ready to listen to the cackle of the rich who demand tax cuts. We're marching against the whole rotten elite who are responsible for this crisis and take us from one scandal to the next, wasting money on wars while pushing millions into poverty and trying to destroy our National Health Service. And we're marching brothers and sisters, we're marching brothers and sisters against Wonga Britain, the paid loan sharks which have become the symbol of this government. The Tea Party Tories who are trying to rip our nation apart. We're Save the Children for the first time are having to help our kids and where thousands of people are actually having to rely on food banks to survive in one of the richest countries in the world. What a disgrace and what a shame. The problem is that it will get worse. When the horrific welfare cuts bite in April, the situation will be even worse. But we should take heart, take heart from this demonstration today, because we represent millions and millions of people, ordinary working people, the 99% who want an alternative, who know that there is an alternative, who say to us, let's tackle the ta tax dodges, let's invest in manufacturing and house building, let's bring banks under proper public control, let's freeze energy prices, let's boost the minimum wage by a pound an hour. In short, let's go for growth, growth that fills the needs of the people and avoids the errors and the crimes of the neoliberal past. But well, sisters and brothers, you know and I know that we won't get what we want simply by asking. That's why last month at the TUC a motion was passed calling for the TUC to consult on a general strike. the practicality. So I say, let's start that cons consultation here today. Are you prepared to take strike action to save our communities? <laughs> Are you prepared for a general strike? Let's say that we can rise like lions and fight, fight, fight for a better 